so in this tutorial of solidworks we are going to see that how can you make a chain and sprocket assembly so go to solidworks uh, click on file go to new so first of all we need to def we need to create a part file having the having the uh, it is having the support plate on which we are going to put the chain and sprocket assembly so it's a kind of support so for that we need to make a plate and uh, to shaft on which we are going to place the chain uh, we are going to place the sprocket so um, go to sketch and select the front plane and make the dimension IPS sketch front plane and then select this center rectangle click on this give, give some dimension now from span smart dimension give the value so let's say this is uh, 5 units and let's say this is uh, 15 units so click on this zoom to fit option okay now go to features go to extrude base and extrude this for one you know 0.5 units so now this is the base plate on which we are going to put our put the sprocket and chain assembly okay, so now um, we have done this normal view like this so click on this click on normal view and then again uh, right click on this go to sketch and here you have this circle option click on this because we are going to make a shaft onto this so let's say we have this and one we have on this now go to smart dimension give the dimension to this circle which you have drawn let's say this is um, four units and then from here to here let's have we have four units diameter is one one for this 2.5 and 2.5 from here now go to features action base and then give dimension 4 units click on green tick mark so the base plate with the shaft has been made save this part file gear uh, not key uh, okay so save this i'm making a new folder anywhere you want let's make a new folder and name it chain and sprocket I think sprocket spelling is wrong S P R O C. ok and save this as a part 1 now go to file go to new and click on assembly file so we are going to make an assembly for this for the chain and sprocket so now click on this and just click on this ok tick mark like the green tick mark ok so we have placed the base plate or, or the support plate for that chain and sprocket now we need to add the sprocket and the chain so for that go to toolbox click on add in now if you haven't added that toolbox so click on add in now and i think if you always um, like open the solidworks after closing it it will ask you to add it now so that's the way okay so now that has been added again change the unit to IPS and go to ANSYNCH here go to power transmission chain sprockets and um, whatever sprocket you want you can choose that uh, let us choose this silent large sprocket so I have to click this and uh, after this I have to drag this by holding the left mouse button like this okay and then I need to give the properties for this so you can see that chain number so in this way you can give the properties what uh, whatever as per your uh, requirement you can give the properties like 3 um, three chain 2 gig 2 chain it depends on uh, what you want okay so let's give this SC306 
number of teeth let's say 25 and soft diameter is one okay and then that's fine and then just click on this so we need to one more so just drag it and click on this and then cross this okay now we need to uh, mate this with the soft for that go to mate zoom this little bit here select this uh, soft uh, outer surface and the inner surface of this and make it co-centric okay so that mate has the uh, co-centric mate has been made between the soft and this sprocket now uh, select this front face of the sprocket and the front face of the soft and make it coincident okay so now it has been you can see that it has been coincident and co-centric same do for this sprocket so select the uh, outer surface of the soft inner surface of this sprocket make it co-centric and this top surface of the soft top surface of the sprocket make it coincident Okay, so now that has been that has been done um, so tick mark like uh, check the green mark and the mate has been done now we want the chain for the chain you need to go to insert uh, go to assembly feature go to belt and chain here you have to select the inner surface like this inner part like this and same for this so you can see that you have this chain now okay and uh, create the belt part use the belt okay no we, we don't want to make it belt so we are not uh, selecting that option we are just making that create the belt part and the click the engage belt okay so that has been done and now uh, click the green tick mark save and continue assembly one save it okay okay whatever we have we have saved it so now we need to give the thickness to this um, chain so for that go to click on this go to this tree assembly tree go to hover uh, like this um, not assembly the feature manager design tree click on this click on this and go to sketch right click on this go to edit, edit sketch okay now go to features which is already there go to extrude boss and base so now you can see we are extruding, extruding this part okay so for that what you need to do as we want uh, on all of this so click on the mid plane like this you can see that we are getting this thing it's only for this gear so you can increase the thickness but is going like this way so what we can do we can go for up to vertex I have selected the mid plane Go to thin feature like this. I don't want the two direction, not the mid plane. I just want the one direction. Give it 0 0.002. So you can see that we got this for the first gear. The chain. Okay, so that looks fine to me. Click on this and then this so now you can see that if I move this the second gear will also move because it has the chain thing so as it, it has the chain if I will rotate the one gear the next gear will also will automatically rotate like this so in this way you can make this chain assembly uh, chain and sprocket assembly the solid works in very easy steps you can modify it for the complex parts so I hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe my channel, Wise Man, for more such videos. Thank you.